Can anybody be an entrepreneur? This is a really important question. When I was a child, I wasn't encouraged to think about setting up a business. That wasn't really a viable option that anyone talked about. I loved the idea of being headmistress, first female bishop, being prime minister. So lots of crazy ideas, but that seemed divorced from the reality, which was just going to be going to university and getting a job. When I was at uni, um, my professor, the day before my finals, wrote me a little handwritten note uh, and it said, courage, exclamation mark. And that stays with me even, even today. Reports are just coming in of an explosion at Liverpool Street Station here in London. There was one day that changed the direction uh, of my life, and that was 7-7. Um, that was the day of the terrorist attacks in London. Uh, I was about 15 minutes later than I should have been that day, because I was late getting the kids into school. Yeah, thank goodness I was. Down on the platform of the tube station, we were evacuated, along with the rest of the tube network. And as I watched the events of the day unfold, I remember thinking, wow, there's a lot of people who aren't going home tonight. And that was a day when I thought, is this what I want to be doing for the rest of my life? If this was my last day, is this how I want to be spending it? And that was the moment when I realised that although I love being an academic, I wanted to have more impact. Uh, and I was writing about revolution, and all the while I was writing about revolution, there was one happening right outside my door. Most five-year-olds would get the concept of what we do. It's digital advertising, uh, but it's quality digital advertising. We help brands create better content, create ads that people want to watch, want to share, want to engage with. At Unruly, uh, the craziest moment was um, the day that we flash mobbed Tech City. David Cameron's launching Tech City, it's this great big initiative, and at that moment I said to the team, right, we're going to be part of this. We've not been invited, but we're going to be part of it. We took our cushions, our social media cushions and our unruly cushions and we stood in a row outside the, outside the space. So half the people thought we were, um, we were picketing and boycotting, the other half of the people thought that we were sponsoring the event and there we were on ITN <laughs> you know, at night with the launch of Tech City. Best free advertising ever, that was insane. If I was giving my younger me uh, some advice, I would say don't worry. Stop worrying about everything. Uh, and every moment I spent worrying was a moment that I didn't spend doing something positive. You've got this is my mantra. <laughs> and I say it to myself often. I learned that from my small child Sunday. Uh, she says it to herself all the time in the mirror and it's really powerful. Uh, it works for her and it's working for me. My worst moments are often the midnight moments. Uh, you know the email that you send to someone who, ha you, who maybe hasn't done the best job? My co-founder Scott said, you can always wait until the morning to be an arsehole. I thought that was a really good piece of advice because actually when it comes to the morning, things don't seem so bad and maybe that bit of work seems quite, seems quite good in the morning. <laughs> it doesn't seem great at midnight, but in the morning it seems great. One of the things I would say I've not done particularly well over the last few years is get the balance right across the board. Um, I think I realised quite early on that I could do business and family really well, but business and family and friends I was going to struggle with. So I don't see as much of my friends as I'd like to. I don't think it's inspiring for anybody to have lots of um, videos of perfect people doing perfect things. <laughs> Plenty of crap happens over right. here. <laughs> Can anybody be an entrepreneur? Yes, uh, there's a myth about a natural entrepreneur, a natural born entrepreneur. No surprises, those natural born stereotypical entrepreneurs are normally male, white, privileged. Um, if anyone tells you you can't be an entrepreneur, walk away from that conversation because they are locking you out of an opportunity which is incredibly precious. If you're someone who is curious, if you're someone who is genuinely interested in what's coming next and you want to be part of something that's big, something that's bigger than yourself, um, then there is no better career than being an entrepreneur. This episode of Should You Start Up featuring Sarah Wood is sponsored by GMG Ventures LP, a venture fund that invests in digital media, from blockchain and AI to recruitment and VR. The fund leverages deep media sector expertise and a vast relationship network to support innovative companies in a sector that faces ongoing disruption. GMG Ventures has one LP, the Scott Trust, also owner of Guardian News and Media. We can't thank them enough for their support. And more importantly, we can't thank you enough for watching this video. So please subscribe for more videos.